Hey guys, this is going to be a quick walkthrough video of the new Super Builder tool for Notion. So let's get right to it. First step is to duplicate the builder to your own Notion workspace. So once you have this page open, click the duplicate button, log in with Notion and choose your workspace. It might take a few minutes to duplicate. Okay, awesome. So now we have the Super Builder in our own workspace. And this is the Builder dashboard. So in here is a lot of different pages and there's everything you need to get started, including learning how to use the Builder and many different pages for customizing your page once you've finished building it. But since I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Builder, we're going to skip this first step and jump right into using the Builder. Okay, so this is the Builder tool itself and the layout is quite simple. So at the top here we have a series of important steps. Now I'm going to explain these one by one in a little while, but it's really good to have this to refer back to because essentially these are the only things that you need to take into consideration to make sure that the Builder and its components work correctly. So down here on the left we have the component library. This is a series of toggle blocks organized by category and inside is gallery blocks with a preview of each component. On the right here we have a preview of the page that we're building. So if you duplicate this page for the first time you'll be seeing this example page and this is just a really good way to showcase what you can do with the components and how they can be customized. But since we're going to be building our own page today I'm going to go ahead and delete this component. Okay, so to get started, simply hit the Create New Page button. You'll see that this generates an empty callout block. This is going to act as our page wrapper and is going to contain all of our components. One important thing to note here is that we must drop components above this text block. We can delete this text later when we finished. So I'm going to go ahead now and start adding in a few components to our page. One thing to note here is if you click a component, you can preview it in its own page. See how it looks before you use it. Great. So one key rule to using the builder is that when you drag components over into the page, you must follow this instruction. And that is to drag whilst holding Option on Mac or Control on Windows. So by holding Alt, clicking and dragging, you can drag the component into the page. The second important step on our builder is to right click a component and turn it into text to make it appear. And the third most important step is then to highlight the component text, hit backspace, and then hit backspace one more time to remove the component wrapper. This will ensure that we have the correct layout for our component. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more components to our page. So again, I'm gonna alt and drag a component into place. So I'm gonna add a list of features. I'm also going to add a few social proof components. And I'm going to add a team block. And finally a footer. And you'll notice here that I'm dragging over multiple components and I'm going to transform them all at once to save some time. So to do that, simply click and drag across all the components, right click, turn into text. And then again, we have to go through, delete the title, hit backspace one more time. I'm gonna add some white space, select the title, backspace, backspace. Great. So you'll see there how quick and easy it is to really swiftly pull together a really nice looking page. So the next step is to change out the content. So that is to update links, change text, add new images, and really just make the page your own. So I'm gonna show you how easy that is now by making some layout changes. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this feature. And by using our super icon library at superso slash icons, I'm going to come in and replace some of the icons on my page. Simply click to copy the URL. And then on an image, you can click and choose replace. Now 
You can also use Notion's built-in colors to customize the page even further. Great. Okay, so once you're happy with the page, there's only a few more steps until we can get our page online with Super. Make sure to scroll to the bottom and delete this text block and any other temp empty text blocks. Once you're familiar with the builder and how it works, you can modify the create page template here and delete this text block if you want. It's just really important to note that any components you drag into the block must not be the, the, the bottom block. There must always be an empty block at the bottom of this call out. Great. Then we can give our page a title and turn our call out block into a page. And then we can either simply move or drag and drop our page anywhere else in our workspace. And there we have it. Our page is looking pretty great. Now it's time to get it online with Super. To do that, hit the share button, toggle this, click copy, head over into Super and create a new site. If you haven't got an account with Super, you can sign up for free at super.so. So paste in the Notion URL, click continue. And there we can see our page online with Super. So it doesn't stop there. With the builder, we've launched some themes that you can apply to your landing pages. So to do that, head back into the Super Builder and into the themes page. You can preview the themes here. We have a nice selection and we're going to be adding more. In this case, I'm going to use the Zap theme. So click into the theme itself. There's instructions here on how to use it, but simply copy the code snippet and head back into your page on Super. Once there, head into the code page and in the head tab, paste in the code snippet. And you'll see there our, our page has been transformed with styles, including borders, fills, different colors, shadows, and so on. So as well as themes, we've also included a range of different code snippets to help customize your page further. So head back into the dashboard, into the snippets page, and here you'll see a selection of different options. I'm gonna choose this one here, which hides the Notion header, the page title, the cover, and the icon. So hit copy on the code snippet and head back into the landing page. This time we wanna go into the CSS tab, hit paste. And you'll see there we've removed that section and now our site's looking a bit more like a landing page. Hit save and we're done. So it's worth noting here that you can preview themes on a free super account, but in order to apply them to the live site, you will need to upgrade your account to a paid account. You can then view your site online via the super domain, or you can also add a, your own custom domain in here. Okay, so that's about it guys. Um, we really look forward to seeing what you create with the builder. Please share your stuff with us on Twitter at super underscore. And you can also join the super community on through our main site. And on here, we talk all things Notion and Super. You can check out code snippets and get help from other team members and other guys in the community. But that's all. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to hit us up on Twitter or drop a comment on this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.